Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making keto popusas with curtido. So this is a super delicious recipe. This is actually more low carb because it is a little higher on the carb side, but it is so much lower than any traditional popusa recipe. So we're still gonna use almond flour. We are using a little tapioca flour, which is what's gonna give it that texture of a traditional popusa, um, you know, versus like a fat head dough, because of course you could use a fat head dough, but it's never, ever, ever gonna compare to this. We are starting off with our popusa dough and I'm gonna go just walk you through step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have our almond flour. We're gonna add in our tapioca flour. So we're just going to add that right in. Just gonna give that a little mix. We have chicken bouillon here, just for taste. If you don't have it, you can just add um, some garlic, salt, onion, salt. Um, if you have chicken bouillon though, it'll make it a lot easier and it gives it a really good flavor. Then we have a little bit of salt, just a little Redmond salt. And then we have a teeny tiny bit of lemon juice. And then we have our hot water. So we're just gonna take, just dump everything in. Super, super simple. So at this point, we're just going to form our dough. I'm gonna show you what it looks like before we let it rest. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set this in the fridge while we prepare the other ingredients and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so while the dough is sitting in the fridge, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our curtido. So here we have our broccoli slaw and you can totally use um, like a coleslaw, but um, this is lower in carbs, so we're gonna roll with this. So here we have our vinegar. I'm gonna add our vinegar. This is oregano, so we're just gonna Throw everything in here, some pepper flakes for that little spicy life. We have our Redmond salt and last but not least, our jalapenos. And that's just gonna give it a little kick. And now let's go ahead and mix this together. Oh my gosh, I love curtido. This is gonna be so bomb. And once everything is mixed together, then we're just gonna let this sit Okay, so now while both the uh, dough and the curtido are sitting in the fridge, we are going to very quickly make, it's almost gonna turn into like a little cheese paste. I know it sounds weird, but you need it because if you just do this, it'll just go all over the place and it just makes it so much easier. So trust me, this here is a combination of mozzarella and Mexican blend. So we're just gonna add a little bit at a time, mix it, we're gonna add a little more. It's just gonna turn into like a little masita. Do you know what that is? It's just like masa. It's just gonna, um, the water just holds it together so it doesn't go all over the place, okay? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna start off by wetting your hands. So you always have to wet your hands. You're gonna get your little masa. Okay, roll it into a ball. Smash it down a little. You're gonna grab your cheese filling, put it right in the center. And now we're just going to put the masa over the cheese. We're gonna roll it back into a little ball. You'll see right now. But I wanna make sure that it's all, let's see. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how we're going to shape them, but okay. And now we put it on the side over here. You can see these. The trick is just to have your hands wet so that they don't stick, but okay. See that? So now that we have them all rolled out, we have our parchment. We're gonna put our little popusa right here in the middle, fold it over. And then we're just gonna press it down with the bowl. Give you, uh-oh, give us a little rim on there. Look how easy this is. Oh, 
one came out a little bigger, but now we're gonna go ahead and move these onto the stove and we're gonna start cooking them. Let's go. Okay, so now that we're all set up here, we're gonna go ahead and start making or start cooking our pupusas. So you're basically gonna put it on just like this and we're gonna leave it until each side is golden brown. Alright guys, so now it's time for the taste test. I'm putting my little curtido on my pupusa. So bomb. I usually have the curtido made with cabbage, but the broccoli slaw worked out perfect, which was awesome because I got on sale at Ralph's. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and do the taste test. Um, these are seriously... Uh, let me just taste. Wow. Wow. This tastes like a real bubble sun. I'm joking. And the curtido is so on point. Mm. The only thing missing is salsa. That's it. Other than that, these taste like the real deal. They're, they're, they add up to about six net carbs per pupusa. And a traditional pupusa is almost about 30 net carbs. So, you know, and the taste is so, so, so close. I can't wait for you guys to try this, seriously. You guys are gonna be so obsessed. Mm. Mm hmm I just had to make sure. That's so good. All right, guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. This is seriously, I mean, I know I say it all the time, but this is one of my favorite recipes. It tastes so authentic. It's absolutely delicious. If you like pupusas, if you've never tried them, I guess the closest thing I can um, I can compare it to is like a, like a gordita. I don't know if you've tried that. I guess you could, I could compare it to like a tortilla, like a thick, tortilla stuffed with cheese that's kind of like but the texture is so different than a tortilla because it's super soft and i don't know it's just perfect it's perfect you have to try it like seriously this is just one of those recipes that you have to try when you do come back comment down below and let me know what you think i love 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 hearing just your feedback regardless you guys are going to love it so make sure that you try it and of course make sure that you're subscribed to the channel turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos and if you still want a little more of me make sure you follow me on instagram and on tiktok where i share a little more recipes and also just a glimpse into my everyday life now um for these recipes they are um i do have a link down below and that's gonna take you directly to my website where you can actually print them out and it shows step by to step and um, yeah, all the products that I use. So again, thanks for being here with me. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I will see you on the next video. Mwah. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs>